Yes, we're still here with CNN IBN Sunrise. In just a few minutes, the PSLV satellite at Sri Harikota is all set to launch Chandrayaan 1, India's historic unmanned flight to the moon. It's built on a budget of 386 crore rupees. Uh, what you can see right now are live visuals on your screens. Top scientists have uh, assembled at Sri Harikota. There you can see the chairman of the Indian Space Research Organization, G. Madhavan Nair, also there. Uh, it's, been, it's a team of close to 4,000 scientists and engineers who've worked hard for the past 10 years to actually bring us this moment of glory and pride, which we will see in a couple of minutes. There you can see the control room there uh, on your screens. Uh, uh, it's just about to launch. In fact, the ISRO has set the, the launch time to be 6.22. And it's, they've already given it, given it an all clear. There were initial uh, uh, apprehensions because of heavy rains at Sri Harikota that might hamper the or, or delay the actual launch of the vehicle. But uh, all that has been put to rest. Uh, uh, all doubts have been put to rest for the moment at least. And uh, it is all set to take off at uh, 6.22. It's going to uh, take about 16 days for uh, Chandrayaan to uh, reach the orbit uh, near the moon, after which all the experiments will uh, begin. Uh, and uh, it is uh, being seen as a mission which is different from the previous missions, as this is the first time scientific experiments will actually be carried out in space. And that is exactly what makes it different and unique and uh, uh, suggests that it is indeed a step forward in development in this particular field. All right, let's uh, go back to our guest who's uh, with us today here on CNN IBM, Professor C. Shivram, Chairman of the Theoretical Physics Group at the Indian Institute of Astrophysics. He's there in Bangalore. Uh, so thanks very much again uh, uh, for speaking to us here on CNN IBM. So do give us a sense. Uh, uh, everything seems to be going well right now. Scientists in place. The final countdown to, uh, has already begun. Just about two minutes or three minutes left yeah. for the liftoff. Uh, uh, certain apprehensions, what kind of apprehensions would really be there on the minds of scientists at this point? See, the most important thing is the takeoff, successful takeoff. Uh, one of the crucial, uh, the most crucial part is the uh, successful takeoff. And uh, see, normally we have got uh, enough experience in uh, the PSULV has been a real workhorse of the ISRO, so there shouldn't be a problem. So, yeah, that's all okay, but say in the case of cyclones and so on. Uh, is general to. In fact, this also happens in the, uh, you know, in the, uh, the in the other countries also. But then with the shuttle, you know, uh, you, if you remember, they have to change the venue of the launching or the landing of the shuttle. Correct. Because the weather was not good in some places. So, yeah. Right, but uh, it's not just the lift off. That's uh, yeah. All right. Uh, so we're going to hold on there, but uh, we just been. Yeah, that's the that. first step. The Right, right. We are being told that uh, Chandrayaan has launched. We are trying to get you those live visuals of uh, uh, the actual yeah. launch. Yeah, there you go. That is the launch of Chandrayaan. It's uh, history in the making, and you are witnessing it right now. performance normal. Ah, now the vehicle has gone into the clouds and you cannot see it from the outside cameras. But all the scientists are closely watching the parameters as they are being telemetered. You can see on the plot board here uh, the time versus velocity of the vehicle. And uh, you can see the blink that is coming and that shows the how the vehicle is going. And uh, uh, in the behind is the expected nominal performance of the vehicle plotted there and you can see that it is going very closely, very closely following. The strap ons have planted and uh, we can see from the plot boards that the, the vehicle parameters are very good and the vehicle is going precisely on the expected thing. Right, so as you can see, as has been suggested by scientists yeah. there, that uh, things are on track, everything yeah. positive yeah. so yeah. far. It's yeah. just yeah. launched, yeah. Chandrayaan yeah. 1 yeah. is yeah. heading yeah. for the moon. Remember, it's going to take 16 days for it to actually uh, reach and settle down in its orbit. Uh, uh, things looking good, of course, all those technicalities are a little difficult to understand, but uh, we will take all that to our expert here uh, uh, today, this morning, Professor C. Shivram, in just a bit. But remember, just, just a couple of facts that, uh, that uh, we are getting that uh, 
This is a 1300 kilogram rocket which just uh, lifted off uh, from uh, Sri Harikota in Andhra Pradesh. Uh, and it is really the beginning of uh, India's space explorations uh, on a larger scale as it's uh, very different from the previous missions that we've seen uh, take place uh, which, which the ISRO has conducted. So far India has only launched satellites for communication or remote sensing as we were also being told by our, uh, our guest Professor C. Shivram. But uh, this is pr the first time that the Chandrayaan will be conducting scientific experiments. They are carrying payloads, about, uh, uh, about 11 uh, payloads uh, as well. Let's uh, again go across to uh, what's happening at the ISRO space station. Altitude of 106 kilometers and the performance is on dot as expected. Plus three minutes. Everything is good. We still have separation over. Heat shield separation, which is protecting the spacecraft and to, uh, un, in the atmospheric regime, has been separated safely. And the Chandrayaan spacecraft now is exposed to the external environment. Now the vehicle is going on the closed loop uh, mode uh, at 130 seconds or so. It has gone into the closed loop. So that any vehicle deviations are corrected by the onboard computer and uh, the corrected vehicle steering has been, will be implemented. It is in the closed loop guidance mode. Plus four minutes. All the performance in the second stage is as expected. दूसरा चरण 134 किलोमीटर की ऊंचाई तक इस रॉकेट को ले जाएगा। Yes, second stage has done is done, and uh, second stage has been separated, and uh, the third stage ignition has taken place as expected. Now इस समय दो सीजन वाला तीसरा मंजिल रॉकेट काम कर रहा है। ये रॉकेट को 166 किलोमीटर की ऊंचाई तक ले जाएगा। the storage stage nominal ignition time is 261 seconds and it has ignited at 262.7 seconds. Uh, very good uh, close following the uh, predetermined path. Tisra Charan Apri Jolan Ke Vaat Us Dher Tar Coast Karega Aur Ise 512 second Vaat Rocket Chalak Kiya Jaega. The touch is also performing as expected. Other scientists closely watching the progress of this excellent launch that is taking place. Historic launch of PSLV C-11 taking the Chandrayaan spacecraft. और इस समय रॉकेट की गति 6.2 किलोमीटर प्रति सेकंड है और इस समय 137 किलोमीटर की ऊंचाई पर है। At this time the vehicle is at an altitude of 137 kilometers and the velocity, initial velocity is 6.7 kilometers per second. Plus six minutes. The range of more than 1,000 kilometers has been travelled. Excellent nominal performance so far. The ground trace is being uh, shown here. It is following steady azimuth of travel as predetermined. Four hundred seconds of flight, the velocity is seven point three four kilometer per second. The ground trace steady on its course. Isamar Uran Barehu just a gara second dogai hai or rocket kigati sata samla teen teen kilometer per second hai or is some eight or twenty kilometer to chai per hai.
अब हमें इंतजार है पांच जब तीसरा चरण रॉकेट से अलग होगा उड़ान के चार सौ चालीस सेकेंड पूरे हुए जब आपने देखा था रॉकेट जब छूटा गया था तो बादलों की वजह से कुछ देर के लिए रॉकेट आपको दिखाई नहीं दिया होगा लेकिन रॉकेट अपने गंतव्य की ओर ठीक से चल रहा था केवल बादलों की वजह से आप तक उस दृश्य को हम दिखा नहीं सके ऑल द इन्फॉर्मेशन दट बींग टेलीमीटर फॉर द व्हीकल एंड ऑल द व्हीकल पैरामीटर शो द व्हीकल सोफा हैज गॉन वेरी नॉर्मली फॉलोइंग दी प्री डिटर्मिन वेरी क्लोजली एन एक्सीडेंट लॉन्च सोफा